This is Chris Gadaho Painter here on Home Improvement How To today with Journeyman John and Zach, Captain Zach on the roller. So um, you'll see him coming up soon. So today we're gonna try to answer a question. We're got a room right here. We started doing the cut-ins on it. You probably see in the background, maybe, but um, we gotta roll this room. And it's kind of interesting because we painted the house but we forgot to do this the right color. We did the wrong color, so now we're coming back and rolling just this room. And um, what size roller are we gonna use? So we're, we're gonna break out a nine inch roller. We'll just let the cat out of the bag right now right. And, let, <laughs> and let you know. We're gonna use all sorts of sound effects for you. <laughs> Ding, um, So we're using a nine inch roller. I know when people see this video of using a nine inch roller, we're gonna have some people in the UK saying, I would fire you blokes before you even got done with the room, or my journeyman grandfather will be rolling over in his grave when he finds out you're using that nine inch roller, which is another problem <laughs> all in itself. But we have reason. So Zach, what kind of roller are you using there? John, I'm using a nine inch, three eighths white woven nap. Is that your favorite kind of nap? My favorite. I like afternoon naps. He likes those kind of naps. If you like this video and want to see some more, make sure you hit that subscribe button or Zach's going to start crying. So we're going to tell you our reasons right now. So I'll tell you one of the main reasons um, that I chose to use a nine inch roller on this room and that's the number one thing is cleaning it up. Cleaning up a nine, an uh, 18 inch roller takes a lot more time and is a lot more difficult cleaning an 18 inch roller because you can't put it inside of a bucket and just clean it in a bucket using our method. It has to sit out like on the grass with an extension pole and you gotta clean, clean it and it takes probably at least twice the amount of time cleaning it and it just makes a bigger mess. Mm -hmm. So why would you choose a nine inch? Because you said you would use a nine inch on this room too, John. Why would you do that? Well, a good answer probably isn't just because I want to, right? That's <laughs> not a good enough reason. But that is a good reason now. It can be. You know what? <laughs> I would use a nine inch because that's what I would, no. I, I really see that like what Chris said, when it comes to it, I'm going to think about like, okay, not just how fast am I rolling the room, but I also have to clean up. With a nine inch roller, if I'm in a hurry and I need to get out of here, I can drop this in a bucket of water and I can clean it up at the end of the day. Not so with an 18, I've got to wrap it in plastic. It's just more involved of a process. And then when I do actually clean it out, it does take about four times longer than it's gonna take me to clean this thing out. Uh, and then for those of you who just toss your roller covers when you're done at the end of the day, you know, this is a 10 to $13 roller and this we're getting for three to $6. And so even then it's just that, that little bit of cost saving if that's what you're gonna be doing. Um, whatever I was gonna say. <laughs> and another, he just forgets all the time, that's all right. Um, another reason why I chose to use a 9 inch is the loading up time. How long it takes to load up the roller. This does take, to me, it takes just more time just loading it up and setting it up. I've got to undo these levers, I've got to get this thing set up, get in here just right, make sure it's spinning just right versus that. You just slide the nap on, you're ready to go. So just the, the load up and set up time is just more time and time is money. Yeah, and another factor that I think about too is how much paint am I going to have to use, not just to load that up, but how much am I gonna lose in the pan? If I'm using an 18 inch roller, I'm gonna have to get out the five gallon pan, or the bucket that has the little 18 inch roll off grid on it and pour that off and I'm gonna lose more paint coming up the sides than I will. Uh, we use nine inch, one gallon nine inch pans typically or even if you use a bucket and a grid, um, you're just going to lose less paint in the mode that you're using to load it up. And here's another thing, and you, you kind of touched on it, what I was going to say, to me, just in a single room, if I'm just doing one room, it's just easier to use a 9 inch roller. You said it's just more nimble, I think that was the word you used, it's, it's just lighter, it's just easier, and it's easier to roll with it. The, the 18 inch roller, you just have to put just a little bit more pressure to work it into you know, the texture. What we typically got like what is called an orange peel texture up here, and it just takes more effort working the paint into the wall using an 18 inch roller. It's gonna take at least half this room to get that 18 inch roller 
are really loaded up and, and laying out the finish really nice, so it's just gonna take more effort. Mm -hmm. Any more to add to that, John? I think, you know, I think we've beat that cat dead or horse or something. Something's dead and we beat it and it's rolling over in its grave and we're, we're not sure from there. So um, that's what we would do. I know. Hopefully the people understand and that if they hired us, we would survive on their crew past the room if we busted out this nine inch roller. I'm yeah. not sure if we're very convincing, but um, anyways, we don't have to worry about it because- We are we, real painters. We don't just play one on TV. And, <laughs> and um, unfortunately, we don't have to go get a job from you and have to worry about you firing us. So there you have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed our video. Please consider giving us a thumbs up. Hit that little notification bell so you get notified every time we come out with a video or we go live on YouTube every Monday night at 7 p.m. We'll just notify you. And we're, we got some other social media we really love and you can learn more tips and tricks from us. Um, what is social media is that coming? We are on Instagram and Facebook specifically. Idaho Painter on Instagram, The Idaho Painter on Facebook. Do check those spots out and you can see all the other crazy things we do and some of the reasons we do them even though our journeyman grandfather is rolling over in his board.